Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another episode of the TUW Fight Club Pro Series. Um, last episode, we had a bit of fun. I um, There was a bit of a blooper because I left the AI to decide who wins this four-way title match, assuming it was just going to pick Trent Seven, as it always does, and it didn't. Um, so, yeah, that was quite funny. The unintentional uh, super push of Luke Jacobs, basically. So there's that. But I'm going to roll with the punches. Um, Luke Jacobs is our heavyweight champion. I'm going to make sure that he's the champion for a long time. So his push will continue. He will be our top star. We have other stars like Trent, Rampage Brown, Kid Like Us 2, Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, etc. We're starting to build a bit of a good roster now. I'm quite happy with how things are, are gelling. So hopefully this episode that continues and um, what I'll do is I'm going to leave the intro as as this and I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. Right, here we are. Um, we'll just get on with the first show. As always, I don't really have any thought. Um, I, don't, I don't go back and think after the episode, oh... Who do I book now? I kind of just go with the flow and what I like. So anyway, oh, I forgot to change Clint Margera again. Right, Clint Margera got in a heated argument with the fan outside. Okay, fine. Uh, Ashton Smith almost got into a fight with TK Cooper. Okay. Uh, training, training. The locker room is a buzz after Amir Jordan and Robbie X apparently got into a huge row over something and had to be physically separated. So you know what match we're going to do. Uh, as always, we use real real life heat and put it into a wrestling match. So we'll have Amir Jordan versus Robbie X to kick off the show. We'll let them get their frustrations out of their system. We'll leave it blank. And then we'll have Amir Jordan attacking Robbie X after the match. You never know, this might end up being a good little match because of the heat. Jordan attacks X. Right. Now what we'll do is we'll do a women's match because I don't think we've had a women's match for a few episodes, um, a few shows. So I think we'll have Millie defend her title against Nina Samuels. Uh, title women's. Millie winning it, like so. Oh, oh, is Millie not the champion? Oh, for God's sake, Session Moth Martina won it, didn't she? Okay, um, right, we'll leave that blank. And then we'll have Millie attacking Nina after the match. Wish this would work. Ah, uh, there we go. I'll just put Millie attacks Nina. There we go. Right. Now we don't have to do any more angles, I don't think, so we're all good. We can just pick matches. Jack Stars hasn't wrestled for a bit, so we're going to have him. And we'll have him against Mark Andrews. Hopefully they can, hopefully Mark Andrews can perform miracles. And then what we'll do is we'll have, if it lets me, come on, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Right, Flash Morgan Webster versus Kenny Williams. Like so, we'll have this as still the show. Um, open match, we'll call it in the ring, see what happens there, all that much. Okay, okay. Change it to 15 then. Oh, balls. Um, can we change it to 12? Oh. So annoying, 10 then? Oh, balls to you. Right. Um, 
get rid of the that one. My mouse today is playing up wrong. I've only had this laptop a few months and the touchpad is already annoying me. Okay. So it's nothing to do with this is getting on my it's because that we picked the right, we'll go storytelling then. Storytelling all out match. It's better bloody work. Oh, will you will you go away? Oh, do you know what? I'm not doing this match now. It's it's made me it's it's made me sad. I'm not doing it. Right, let's pick another match, let's think. Okay. Nathan Cruz versus Levi Muir, because I don't think he's wrestled for us yet. And then what we'll do now is we'll have um I can't remember oh yeah Luke Jacobs there we go Luke Jacobs versus Lee Hunter as always as I said at the intro Luke Jacobs is gonna get a Right, we'll try all that match, see what happens. Probably won't let us. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's just Doug Williams, maybe whenever he's being a road agent. Can we go 10 minutes then? Oh, sod off. Because Lee Hunter's, uh, no offence Lee Hunter, he's getting on a bit, so... we just have to get rid of that. There we go. We'll just leave those 10 minutes and oh my god we can't even put him in a 10 minute match a normal 10 minute match are you joking me eight I, oh my god i'm having nothing but nightmares today with this right we can't have bloody lee hunter in it he's being a knobhead um we'll put will cruz in there hopefully will cruz can do something we'll go 10 minutes Oh my god, do you know what, Doug Williams, you are no longer being a road agent. You are terrible. Right, try Dave. Ah, oh, okay, so it's nothing to do with that. It's just Will Cruz cannot wrestle ten minutes. I've got I've got all of a sudden out of nowhere. Um let's, spike, let's try spike trip it. I mean there must be something wrong with the game. Um, I haven't got Will Cruz. I, I just changed it, didn't I? Did everybody just see that? I did click on it, didn't I? Oh, I clicked on it. I didn't. I didn't put it across. There we go. Right. Can we? Can we? Please. Oh God. What the hell? Oh, that's why. Because it's called in the ring. Oh, for God's sake. I'm such an idiot. Right, can we go all out? Thank God for that. Right. <sighs> Sorry about that, everyone. I do apologise. Got my hair off there. Right, here we go. So the first match to start the show, Robbie X defeated Amir Jordan. Uh, Amir Jordan, sorry. Got a 58 for the segment, 54 for the wrestling. Uh, Robbie X with a 56. Amir Jordan and Robbie X have ex uh, great chemistry. So there you go. We turned a negative into a positive, everyone. Angle afterwards only got 19, though. Uh, the women's match, Millie McKenzie defeated Nina Samuels. Got 57 for the segment, 52 for the wrestling. Um, and again, Millie McKenzie and Nina Samuels have great chemistry. So that's two out of two so far. That's pretty good. Angle afterwards got 41, which is pretty good for angles for us. Right, um, Mark Andrews defeated Jack Stars, got 58 for the second, 50 for the wrestling. As you can imagine, Mark Andrews was excellent in this match, Jack Stars not so much. Um, the uh, Nathan Cruz defeated Levi Muir, got 50, uh, sorry, 34 for the second, 32 for the wrestling. As you can imagine, it wasn't very good because Levi Muir is very green at the moment, bless him. So... Um, Hopefully he's pushed. Hopefully I can get him in more matches eventually, and he'll get better. But yeah. 
and in the main event, Luke Jacobs retained his title, first successful, I oh know, second successful defence of the heavyweight title, uh, defeating Spike Trivet. Got 51 for the segment, 46 for the wrestling. Um, Luke Jacobs got was 53, and Spike Trivet 39. That's good. Right, we didn't get any popularity changes. Overall rating was 51. 61 people. So, a bit of an annoying show, mostly because of my cock up. Right, so we end up losing four, just over £4,000. Um, so, my plan is to try and change the product so it was just called in the ring, ain't going to happen by the looks of it, because literally everybody will just not want to do it. I need to get better road agents, but. There's not many on the British scene that are, are better than what I've got, so I've kind of just got to get on with it. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next show of the episode. Right, and we're back for another episode of Blackout. Um, sorry about that last episode, my cock up. Um, it just took me ages to figure out why it was playing up. I didn't read the warning properly. That's always my my problem. I don't read things properly, and then that's why it goes all over the place. Right. Um, Flash Morgan Webster was going to lie heat for the rest of the rest of the locker room after pulling a tasteless rib. So we've got to remember to do a tasteless rib on him, see how he liked it. Training, training, training. Um you were approached by TK Cooper SD pay rise, yeah, that's fine, done. Um there's some heat between Wild Ball and the morale officer Clint McGarrett. I keep forgetting to get rid of him as staff. I'm gonna do it after this show, I promise. Chantel Jordan and Michael Oku have been apparently hanging around a lot backstage recently. Dave Mastiff and Jack Stars have been spreading, I'm sorry, spending a lot of time um, together, together. Many have noticed how Jack Stars has started acting differently as a result. So hopefully that will make him Jack Stars better as a wrestler, I don't know. All right, where's the pull of rib? Uh, we'll go major prank. Flash Morgan Webster has said to have been upset by your attempted rib. Oh, well, what a shame. Look how he bloody likes it, the bully. And in fact, because he's been a miserable sod, Flash Morgan Webster, Levi Muir. Wants to, like, if he wants to be petty, I can be petty. Don't you worry about that. There we go. There we go. I don't care if this is the worst match in wrestling history. I don't care, Flash Morgan Webster. You can just deal with it afterwards. And then we'll have Levi Moore attack him afterwards. Don't mess with me, people. I'm a very petty man. There we go. Right, so that's the angle afterwards. Um, Wild Ball was also moaning about it, so him and he can go against Mark Andrews. Actually, no, he can go against Elijah, and we'll give Elijah a big win against Wild Ball. Uh, and then Burial, like so. Oh well. What a shame. Um, right, so that's them doing. Oh, yeah, we'll do Wild Ball attack him afterwards. No, not Wild Ball. Um, who is he? Who's he? Oh, Elijah, that's it. Oh, God's sake. Hold on, bear with me, people. I need to just. There we go. We won't hear that annoying noise now. Right, Elijah attacker. Wild Ball, lick him. And then we should get a light laser. Attacks. Ball. There we go. So that's how you uh, deal with moaning, right, idiots, basically. You uh, embarrass them further until they conform and behave properly. <laughs> uh, well, I had fun, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Right, back to the wrestling. <laughs> right, we'll have Kid Lycos 2 versus Kenny 
Williams. We'll go no, steal the show, open match, pull out match. Okay, we need to just change that to 15 and then we're good to go. Um, do Jody Flies because I'm a bit of a Jody Flies fan. We'll have him against Trent Seven. Leave it blank. What are they not happy about? Oh, yeah, them two. Right, that's fine. I'm not bothered about that. 78 minutes. We've still got enough time for one more match. So we'll do Luke Jacobs again, defending his title against. Uh, Tico Cooper. Now we'll have Luke Jacobs as the winner. Open match. Pull out match. Title on the line. Right, there we go. So obviously Levi Moore defeated Flash Morgan Webster. 28 for the second, 33 for the wrestling. Um, Flash Morgan Webster didn't really put much of a performance in because he obviously wasn't happy about what was going to happen with the booking. But, you know, it's nice to get Levi Moore a win, give him, get him to attack Flash afterwards. Elijah defeated Wild Ball for 18 for the second, 24 for the wrestling. Um, I'm willing to sacrifice the show to put these little shits in, in place and let them know who the boss is. So, I, like I said, I'm a very petty man. Right. Kid like class two defeated Kenny Williams, got 55 for the segment, 49 for the wrestling. Uh, both wrestlers were about the same. And then Jody Trent Seven defeated Jody Fleisch. Got 61 for the segment, which is pretty good for us. 55 for the wrestling. Um, Trent Seven was slightly better. And then the main event, Luke Jacobs defeated TK Cooper, got 45 for the segment, 45 for the wrestling. Luke Jacobs was the standout out of the two. Unfortunately, they don't have very good chemistry. Um, didn't result in any popularity changes. 45 for the rest, uh, the rating overall. 60 people turned up, so. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Aha. Right. Flash Morgan Webster. Could do better. <laughs> Criticised for a poor performance. There we go. Gotta do it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, they were asleep. <laughs> They're not happy. <laughs> right, four just over four grand in the uh, minus four grand from that show. That was that's hilarious. <laughs> Only in wrestling you could get away with calling somebody worthless. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do that in a office situation, would you? You wouldn't be able to say to somebody. You're worthless. You get sacked as a ma you you manage a job, you manage this position, you'll be out of it in no time. Right. Um thank you for bearing with us with that. And I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back. Uh, I had a news box news box item just at the end of the year awards um have come in and it took me ages to figure out where they were. So I've re recorded this bit. Um but yeah, it's here. Um, so, male wrestler of the year in Fight Club Pro was Trent Seven, so congrats to him. Female wrestler of the year was Millie McKenzie. Male tag team of the year was the Lycos Brothers, Lycos uh, Jim, sorry. Uh, male young wrestler of the year was Kid Lycos 2. Match of the year was Subculture defeating Lycos Jim at F uh, FCP Instant Classic, which got 63 rating. Card of the year was uh, FCP Paradise City 2024 with 47 rating. Male Manager of the Year was Brian Alvarez. Uh, male Play-by-Play -play Commentator of the Year was Dan Reed. Ma uh, male Referee of the Year was Steve Linsky. And that's that. There's nothing else there. So that's a nice new little feature. I like that. Um, but anyway, right. Let's crack on with this show. Uh, let me know who you who you think should have been the... Uh, male and female wrestler of the year for Fight Club Pro on this save. I'm ass I'm assuming everybody's probably going to go with Millie. Um, I've just double clicked something somehow, and I don't know what's happened. Right, there we go. Uh, 
that session Mark Martin of course heat backstage and a mean spirited rib put forward. So you know what's gonna happen now? Uh session Mark Martino is going to lose to Kanji. Not for the title though. She's the champion. So uh Steve Linsky also got in a fight with Flash Morgan Webster. Flash Morgan Webster getting in trouble again. Wild Ball was brought before Wrestler's Court failing to pick up the uh the tab. There we go. Dean Ayers brought into Wrestler's Court accused of making a mess backstage. Um Clint Margera tried to bring Ashton Smith to some backstage team building, but only succeeded in annoying him. <coughs> Trent Seven came to you backstage with an idea for a creative finish. It's been automatically added to the ideas. Training, training, training. Uh, oh, here we go. Levi Muir and Raven Creed have begun dating. Woo I'm a matchmaker also, as well as a... Um, uh, well, matchmaker in, in both senses. Uh, we're matchmaking in the wrestling and matchmaking in love as well. So there you go. Um, Darren Kearney and Lee Hunter were really getting on well backstage. There we go. That's good. It's nice to see something positive. Um, we'll leave that. Right. So, first match of the show is going to be Session Moff Martina versus Kanji. Actually, no, I'm going to have Session Moff Martina win this because I don't really want to annoy my champion. So we'll go women's title. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to have Kanji kept strong. Oh. Lifelong. Oh, okay. So we can't even have it because of the attribute. Should we do domination then? No, we can't. Okay. Um, protect. We can protect her. There you go. We'll do storytelling. Open match. All that match. Oh, hold on. Uh, right, there we go. And then we'll just have Kanji. Uh, she'll be the victim, so she'll she'll uh, she'll get attacked by Session Mark Martina afterwards. Like so, there we go. Right. Uh, exclude already booked. So we'll have we'll have a tag team match. We haven't had a tag team match for a while. We need to get out of that. So we'll have Kid Lycos, one, Kid Lycos, two, no, oh, not Kanji. There we go. And then we'll have them against. Uh, who should we have them against? Should we have them against. Yeah, should we have a rematch of the, the match of the year? That would be quite good, wouldn't it? So we'll have a rematch of the match of the year. We'll go 20 minutes. We'll go steal the show, open match, all that match. Tag titles on the line. Let's see if that'll help. Uh, okay. Just need to change this to the Hunter. Yep. There we go. And then what we'll do is... We'll just have one more match, I think, and we'll have uh, Luke Jacobs again. We'll have him against Kenny Williams. Title on the line. We'll have Luke Jacobs as the winner. Uh, storytelling, open match. Right. Uh, oh, I need to do an angle afterwards to end the show. So we'll just do Kenny Williams attacking Luke Jacobs after the, after the match to end the show. There, Jacobs. Right. 
lovely jubbly we are ready to go so uh session mark Matina defeated Kanji with the satellite DDT um, the, this match was designed to tell a specific story session mark Martina makes defense number one of the women's title got 39 for the second and 38 for the wrestling Kanji was pretty good in the ring actually 36 she weren't that that far away from session, matching session mark Martinez, so that's good. The match got the show off to a strong start. Got the crowd hotter as well. Angle afterwards, got a 33. Um, so a rematch of the match of the year. Subculture defeated Lycos Jim. Uh, Morgan Webster pinned Kid Lycos 2 with a 450 splash. So it was an exceptional match. The match was designed to so the wrestlers go out and try and steal the show. Subculture make defense number five of the tag titles. Mark Andrews was head and shoulders above everyone else. Uh, second one got a 62, 58 for the wrestling. And yeah, Mark Andrews 71, which is probably the best in-ring performance I've seen so far on this save. So that's good. Obviously, all the tag teams are really good as well. So we could do with just putting this match together quite a bit. Maybe at the next big show as well we'll probably put them in there right Luke Jacobs defeated Kenny Williams with the figure four leg lock makes uh, Jacobs makes number four successful defense of the title number four 53 for the segment 47 for the wrestling Luke Jacobs was the better one out of two and the latter's got a 25 to end the show right let's see how we get on yep so we've increased our popularity in one region Overall rating was 50 and 59 people turned up. So what we need to do is praise Mark Andrews. Um, probably praise him as well. Okay. Um, we lost 3,600, which is less than usual. But I think that's more to do with the fact that I only had a couple of matches. I had one less match than I usually do. Still 14 in the Midlands. That's that. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the last show of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, last show of the episode, and we've got a big event coming up now, one for all. So um, hopefully we can put on a really good show. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm thinking of having the tag title match as the main event. Um, and I'm thinking of doing, maybe doing a, um, like a stipulation, like a TLC match or something. I don't know whether that would ruin it or not, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I hope for the best. Right. No pre-stay, no pre-show incidents, which is good. Oh, unfortunately the ring has accidentally sent to the wrong place. You've managed to source a replacement at short notice. Uh, a live event can still go ahead, but it's not great quality. So there will be a small penalty. Oh, great. That's great. Um, right, locker room is a buzz after Lando and Connors apparently got into a huge row. Huge row, sorry. Uh, apparently, the pair of shapers from Mercedes Blaze have been hanging out a lot recently. Dan Reed had a small backstage clash with Clint Margera. And then, training, training. Oh, no. Brendan White has got a lot of heat backstage for the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude. And the signs of concerns were very bad situation handled wrong. Bye. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my laptop today. It's just playing up, so I apologise, everyone. Right, uh, let's start the show. Oh, we haven't got many wrestlers here. Actually, I don't think we can do the tag team title, can we? Right, ten, men's. Ah, oh, we haven't got the. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. Okay. Yeah, so we can't do the tag team match I wanted to do to end the paper, to end the show. And we haven't really got much of a roster here by the looks of it. Let's have a look. We've got a few on the women's side, a few on the men's, but nothing amazing. So we've got to be a bit choosy in our matches. Ah, oh, this is going to be a rubbish show now because of it. Literally, we've got... Uh, I mean, Callum Newman's okay, I suppose. Dan Kearney's is okay. Dave Mastiff's okay, but... Let's have a look at the stand-up performance. Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors are probably the best ones we've got. Luke Jacobs, at least Luke Jacobs is here. Michael Oku, so at least there's that. 
Rampage Brown, Spike Trivet. Mm, okay, so we'll start the show with Dave Mastiff versus uh, Spike Trivet, I think. We are going to be very limited. We might have to put a smaller show on just because we haven't got quality. Spike Trivet attack Dave Mastiff after the match. Uh, oh, I'm disappointed. I had such high hopes for this show. Okay. So I have man like Greece versus Cameron Newman. We'll do um, no, Kaka with Tim. Then we'll just Newman attacks Greece. Right. Okay. Um, let's do a women's match now. Women's. We'll do. We'll do. We haven't got. We haven't got. Um, uh, women's champion, so we'll have to do the next best thing, which is probably this match for the women's side. Just leave that blank. And then if we want to do a tag team match, we'll do a four-way tag team match. Oh, no, actually no, because that might not leave us with many singles wrestlers after that. So... Men's tag team view, because there are more than the Hyde. We'll do, won't do New Blood, we'll do the Marauders. Um, I kind of want to keep Rampage and Kenny Williams, so we'll do Ame Jordan and Ashton Smith. We'll put them in a tag team together, hopefully they'll gel. And then what we'll do is do one more match. Um, we'll do four way singles. Actually, do a six way singles. We've probably got enough wrestlers. Met enough decent wrestlers. So, yeah, so we'll have Luke Jacobs against Kenny Williams, Michael Oku, Joseph Connors, Rampage Brown, and who else do we have in there? EC3, there we go. Let's put him in there. We'll go 20 minutes, title on the line. We'll have Luke Jacobs win it. And then what we'll do is we'll go steal the show, open match, call that match. Hopefully they'll let us do that. So maybe, um, right, let's knock it down a few minutes, see if I can do anything. Okay, try 15 minutes. There we go. Right, let's start the show. I mean, we did all right considering. I think we could have done better if we had Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, and Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos 2, for instance, but it is what it is. Right, um... Spike Trivet defeated Dave Mastiff. Got a 40 rating for the segment, 42 for the wrestling. Dave was slightly better. Angle Athlete's got 26. Uh, Calvin, Calvin Newman defeated Man Like the Reese. Got a 43 rating for the segment, 44 for the wrestling. Calvin Newman pretty good with 49. Angle Athlete's got a 26. And then the women's match, Millie McKenzie defeated Jetta. Got 52 for the segment, 51 for the wrestling. 64 for Millie McKenzie. She's a um, standout performer as a women's wrestler on this roster at the moment. And then we... Um, the tag team match, the Marudas, defeated more than the hype. Uh, Amir Jordan and Ashton Smith got 49 for the segment, 45 for the wrestling. Um, I was hoping to see like 
Ashton Smith and Amir Jordan have great chemistry as a tag team or something. You know, I could have put I could have put them in a new tag team, but no. Nah. Um, yeah, Ashton Smith and Amir Jordan were the better workers out of the out of the lot. But I think what we'll do then at the I think next next event we'll probably do like a three way TL like a we'll we'll do this like a two versus two versus two match, but we'll have it as a TLC match, and I think we'll have the Lycos. The gym, Lycos gym, um, Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan, West of Subculture, and the Marudas, I think. Right. Um, and the main event, Luke Jacobs won, basically. He um, submitted Joseph Connors with a figure four leg lock. Um, it was an exceptional match. Segment got 57. The wrestling was a 50, got 50. Um, Michael Oku was the best worker out of the two, but Luke Jacobs was pretty good as well um, so yeah that's a good match to end the show the show appeared worse because of your pre-show equipment problems obviously yeah we've increased the popularity in one region 47 for the rest overall and we've got 91 people so I think that's the biggest crowd we've done so far so that's pretty good uh, we'll leave that blank I don't really have anything to say about that oh. I keep my mouse is just annoying it right clicks when I want it to left click it up a lot of the time. Right, got 14 still for the Midlands. I assume we lost money though, so it doesn't really bother me about looking at the financial report at the moment. Uh, yeah, nice way to end the episode. We'll just have a quick look at things. But yeah, we're 106 grand in the red at the moment. We lost 27 grand last month. So not good. Let's just quickly check if we can get a no. We can't get a hold on wrong thing. We can't get a broadcasting deal at the moment. Right. So I'm just going to save this. Let's just have a quick look at creative. Uh, EC3 is supposed to be our best worker. Rampage Brown, Session of Marty, and Trent Seven. I think it hasn't really changed, has it? It's a hot prospect. Not really. Yeah, it's not really changed. Maybe we need to use EC3 a bit more. Um. Right then. Yeah, that's that really. Thank you as always for watching. I hope that you still enjoying the series. Um, I'm not I'm not the best YouTuber in the world. I know that, but I'm hoping I'm doing enough to keep you interested in this series. Let me know if you have any advice for me when it comes to how I do things on here. I always appreciate the advice. Let me know if you like the show, um, the episode. Sorry, and I'll be back. Uh, next week with another TW9 episode. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All the best. Bye.